Hi guys and welcome back. We're here with part three of our Emperor to Rome Macedon campaign. And um the plan is to take on Thrace next, I think. Um I think they are in a war of their own. They're not doing too well on zero war score and I need I, I wanna go eastwards. So Thrace is in the way of getting into Phrygia and Aeolia and places like that. So anyway, I'll start the game. I'll start it off and we'll see how we go. I am also going to try and in expand into Greece um, more. There is going to hopefully be a lot more war and troubling, I don't know, troubling times ahead. But we, Macedon can do it. Anyway, I forgot what I was going to look at. I was going to look at, not government, diplomacy. That's the one. And look, it's, we have Casus Belli on that nation there. Okay, I lost an infection. Oh yes, I have a Casus Belli on these people because I was going to use these guys to take on Boeotia and so, so yeah, we'll do that I think first. I will declare war, take Boeotia, and Messenia. So we just need to go for Boeotia. Messenia is down here. They can't get to us just yet. Argos will join the war and help out. Thankfully. Uh, how much money? We're making a lot of money. We could re uh, add on to this army if we fancied it. And I think I will. I'll add what have you got so far. You've got cavalry and you've got a bit of everything. Um, I will add some these guys, some light infantry. It's two there and that'll bring it to 16. That'll be okay for now. Theodomas, you're fairly loyal and you're not. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with you just to balance the books and try and make both very loyal. So we're gonna have a small fight there. Very good. Win that one. Oh They've just spawned in. They're going to die. Um, I want you to go over here. Oh, you can't. Can't just get off that nice island. Um, go over here. Actually, no, because that means you go towards Lamia. Uh, go up there. You're going to die, unfortunately. Uh, go there. Because we're going to have to deal with this 10,000 army. Has that just come through? Or where was this? Oh, this is just like, they just spawned and they died straight away. Excellent. What a waste of money and manpower. Um, right, you all come in here. I want you to all march down here. Join up. Move, you stupid men. Anyway. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna. You're not gonna make it. Oh, annoying. And you're not moving. And I keep forgetting to move people. So you move there. For he's gone bold. I just realised my guy's gone bold. Join up. So it's a fairly sizable army now. This army can take on both. So we'll do. Oh, actually, apparently it's going to lose doing that, so we'll wait. We've just gained a load of tribesmen. Barbarians have arisen. Oh, up here. Brilliant. Nowhere near any of my armies. Excellent. He's going to come and attack me here, which is an interesting move. Starving population. Oh... And barbarians. Brilliant time. Um, I will send this army north to go and deal with the barbarians. Excellent. This force has nearly taken theirs, so we will. I'm gonna re actually no, twenty-seven thousand. I don't think I really have the manpower to replace those units that got built and then died. Argos is gonna fight a battle here and lose, I imagine. Um, 
Wales. Okay, Bar barbarians, hurry up and stop. Destroy my lands, basically. Um, we won that siege. I'll take the take that. Perhaps give him a job. You're fairly loyal. You're even loyal. Yeah, just do it. I'll give you the job and take the uh, the hit later. Excellent. These barbarians are just like the most annoying ever. Right, then you need to move there to take whatever that is. Then we need to start sorting out these starving populations. Perfect, right, so we don't need to even worry about that. Omens, um, I'm going to go for... What's the money we're making? Seven. I'm going to go national manpower. This one, try and boost our manpower while it's low. Um, can't get over here. Phrygia also probably won't give me any access, will they? No, they won't. Excellent. We'll just go back to taking out Boeotia then. If we can take out Boeotia, then we've got another stronghold down here. Am I improving relations with you yet? I seem not to be. Um, I'm going to improve my relations with you. Try and bring you into the... Uh, bring these guys into the fold. And same with Argos, I think. I've realised that Argos is very much... It's possible to bring it into the fold, basically. Oh, Governor of Greece lose a hundred, two hundred that, and it's a ninety-five. Demand his resignation. Uh, I'm just going to demand he pays the city. He's very loyal already. Disloyal. We've already got quite a few. Um, I'll bribe this guy. Loyalty could, the admiralty could do being higher. Um, yes, bring in the money. And I'd like to spend some money on converting that. It's already at 30. Jeez. I've had a lot of them done by. A lot of conversions done by this guy. Um, researcher moves to Ellis. Oh, it's Olympic Games. Who do I want to send? Um, oh, you're both very good. I'll send the general. Well, not, not the general, but the guy that looks like a general. If I brought the fleet round, actually, I could... Im 15 now. That's a 15 stack army. It's like it was meant to be. So I couldn't land in Corinth Corinthos. And uh, we'll be okay. And then I can just go across here, go and take this capital and jobs are good and we expand a bit more in doing so send this guy in here quickly help take the siege an invention I'm gonna go a better look next time I don't think we ever do very well at the um, Olympic Games uh, military tradition cost, fort defense, siege engineers I will go with, we're making decent money, so don't need to do that. I'm going to go with sapping and do better better engineering, get these sieges done a lot quicker. Okay, so you're in the sea zone, actually. The sixth stratus and the first stratus. Why is it the sixth stratus? Ugh, I don't know. Can't do that. A lack of unit access. It's probably just because we aren't in the right. S oh, it's because I'm literally like there's no coast to this region. Stupid. Um, right, you do that. You pull out. Oh no, I don't want that. <sighs> Waste of time. Stupid Pope. 
go back in, wasting, yeah, look at that manpower, not great, not great, I might have to call it af after this war, actually, what would we get from the war so far, probably not masses, no, they'd say no to all of this, mainly probably because we haven't taken the war, the war goal, oh, I wish I could just get Phrygia to let me access, why not, oh, minus 55 to 1, not good, not good. Okay, so we've done that. What was it now? 27. Let's just quickly have a look. You'd say yes to that, but you wouldn't say you say no to that. You'd say yes, you wouldn't. What would I have to take? I need to take more of that, wouldn't I? Or could I get Boeisha to sue their own peace? Yes, I could. Interesting, I will. I will do that. Just to make them force their own peace. Um, I will do... Popularity, I'm very popular. Um, I'm going to do aggressive expansion. Um, is this all one army? No, good. I was going to say. Well, this one goes back to... Cons hmm. can go there. This one can go to Thespia. There we go. Pretend to support. Well, gains cold. You're both very old, so I'm just going to just let you both die, and that might do the job. You get on the ship. Apparently, that's going to do attrition, so we don't want that. Brilliant. We are going to run out of manpower very, very soon. Manpower, please. So while that's happening, let's have a look quickly at the map. Rome's expanded a bit. Oh, it's got random bits up here, and yeah, and the Etruscans are all dead. Forgot about that. Um. Egypt looks like it's got smaller. No, it's got bigger a little bit. Phrygia's definitely got smaller. This just looks awful and border gorish as hell. National tax, please. Do with always do with more money. Um, where's this Apulia? Yeah, we'll we'll take Apulia's trade for now. I just love the animations that they have going on. It's really, really good. Um, anyway, while this is happening, um, if you guys have got any anywhere you want me to uh, attack next, I know I was planning on three, so it might be a little bit uh, put off now because of this uh, invasion we're doing down here. We may have to uh, hold out and do it another time because um, we have no manpower. Literally no manpower. Um... But yeah, if there's anywhere you want me to go, if you want me to take out Tulantir or go across the um, seas and go for Messepia and go for Italy, or you want me to carry on going east for Alexander's Empire, um, then please let me know. I am more than ha open to options. Who else is left in this war? Messenia as well. I'm not going to fight Messenia as well. There's no way. I've got um, the manpower to do so. And Uboa is... We've got a hundred more we can get, so we can definitely integrate them into the uh, into the Empire. And we will do so. Are you at war? They are... Oh, this is a civil war. It's a Paeonian revolt. Mm, this could be helpful. If, if they break away, this could be useful. Um, but they are actually my vassal status. Well, this all happens. Interesting. It's actually kind of, kind of funny that they're just like, yeah, we're, we're still vassals when this happens. Um, yep, yeah, so you've taken that. Can we now sue for peace and take this? No, we can't because... Oh, we need higher war score. Well, we'll just stay here and wait. We're no longer importing grain. No. Import more grain. Um, actually, we've got a surplus of grain. Um, we should go for something like wood or olives or... 
We've got wine. We have a surplus of wine. Cloth? No. Papyrus? Marble? Maybe marble. Um, I don't know why I pause. I can just let this go. I think I'll go for marble because it helps with um, tyranny and stuff like that. I mean, my tyranny is like nothing at currently, but it could go up and it's a bit of a pain. So we'll just let this tick and um, hopefully uh, to 10 and then we can force them to uh, give it to me. And that will be it. That will be it done. So we can lose. Oh, we don't have the manpower to lose. So it's going to have to be the money. And that's not that much money in comparison to what we have. We will um, build some training camps to help boost this uh, problem that we have with manpower. There we go. Boost that. Biantia wants military access. It can go to hell if it's having any access from me. Um... Epidurus, would you be an interesting person to go after? Hmm, you might be. Sparta as well would be drawn into that war, and Sparta's not that strong. So I'll keep that in mind, Epidurus. You may be one of the next on my list. I may go and take out the rest of Greece before we need to. Anyway, super peace. Take this. Excellent. Done. Um, we will lower the uh, ag Aggressive expansion, and then we can bring this fleet. Actually, I'll keep this army in Greece, I think, and I will send this one north to. Um, oh my god, this, the weight of this army is huge. It's probably because of the cavalry. Um, there's not many places I don't think they can take it currently. I might have to leave this one here, or split. I need, probably should split this army up a bit, make it a twenty. 20,000 instead of um, 26,000. I might do that. Um, I might uh, create a new unit. Um, it's just that obviously it's the king's army. King's army needs to be strong. Can't, oh, because they're loyal. Okay, well that's fine. They can be loyal to the king. Um, I'm moving the units I kind of wanted to move anyway. I didn't I'll, I'll keep 22. A 22 seems like a decent amount. Um, who's scorned? Mm. Oh, you guys are. Are you loyal to me? Oh, your loyalty's not as great as it could be. I'll bribe you. Get your loyalty up a bit. And then the second Stratos can go north. And I'll build the second Stratos off eventually. Could you go anywhere now? Oh, you still have a lot of weight to your army. 22,000 should be okay. We can take a little bit of attrition when he has to move. Yes, we will now regather our manpower and begin more. I will begin more invasions. How old is my king? King Philip is 45. We've got time for another war in that time. Who... Maybe, oh, Kokaira is definitely an option because it will have, oh, it's got a few allies. But it's got, again, it's not got allies that are very good. So we could go for them and these guys as well. Let's also have the, um, have the alliance with them. And I want to somehow get you involved, get you out of the game. And then we've got, like, all of this area here under control. And then we can... When we've got large enough manpower again, we can go for Thrace. It could be a long time. Uh, that's the problem, though, because uh, manpower takes like 15 years to uh, regrow to f max strength, so it could be a while till war. Hopefully not too long. Um, I don't know. What do I want? Let's look at mili- Oh, yes. Let's do that one. Military tech down. Then we can get the next military tech. We could go for... Light Cavalry, Cohorts Dying, Experience experience Decay, or Light Cavalry, Defense. What does this do? Morale of Armies, Recruit Mercenaries. I will go for Light Cavalry. The yeah, Gemma, 45. So we've lost... Oh, actually, we have now even more disloyal people. So we have the Brother of the Vesalius is disloyal. Alexander is disloyal. And why can't we do any of this? Because you don't... Mm, it's not possible to do with an event... Oh, demanding my attention. Okay. 
Excellent there. Thank you. Um, I guess we bribe you again. You just shouldn't. This is loyalty changing due to pretender loyal cohorts. I could just bribe your your people. Luckily, oh, we also have people that need sorting out. Well, I'll just put in the best people. That's how it goes in this in this kingdom. We just put in the best people. So we've got a few disloyal people. We can sort them out. Pretenders. Both of you are supporting people who are. Well, basically, really, really. You're both old. You can support whoever. Um, when these brothers and guys, these guys die eventually, um, that's fine because you currently have a lot of brothers. You have rivals, friends. Oh, you have a few friends. Siblings, yeah, you have two. He's 43, he's 44. Not long till they die. Kids, you've got Cassander. He's an heir. Oh, he's 19. What's he good at? Oh, he's not great. He's better than you at fighting, though, actually. I could give Cassander an army, get him, but then he hmm. I might not, actually, no. We won't do that. Cassander can uh, keep holding on and he can replace the king's army. The king's army must be reborn. Even though it's it's very much alive. I don't know what I'm on about. It just sounded good. I'm trying to still find a place I can put this. There's a good spot to put it. And it's near one of the places I want to go for next. So I'll put it there. Might take a little bit of attrition, but we've now got a bit of manpower. Yeah, we're going to lose a little bit. Macedonia. Thrace gains opinion of us. And, or we can do that. I will take the opinion. Thrace can like me a bit more. Um, they l do like me a lot. I might wait before going for Thrace then. Because, oh, they actually uh, did lose. They lost that war. And Gatea has, Getia has taken a bit of the land. Hmm. I might need to... Uh, we'll see. We'll see what Thrace ha happens to Thrace the next one. If they lose another ward, then I might reconsider our alliance. They don't have a very big army. 7,000 for a very large area. It's tempting. It is tempting. I will debate it. Oh, we're now down to 3,000 men. Because you're... you're just send Hermachus. Oh, you're okay... You're very loyal, actually. Why did we send all of our loyal people to deal with these problems? Um, I'll send Hermachus. Hermachus goes again, I think. I don't know. I think these people like keep disappearing. I don't think they ever come back. I'm not sure. I need to read the pop-up when it happens. See what happens. Let's see whether they come back. Seculi is winning a war against Carthage by the looks of it. Interesting. Yep, sure, you can, um, the Dao Sea can have that, because I'm probably not expanding that far. I do want to really go south and east, and that's about it. Oh, okay, so they finally lost, Egypt has lost this to Naxos. This is interesting. It's an, it no longer holds this stuff. So, good, I don't want to really see them hold it. Egypt aren't allowed. So I was right, Egypt has got a little bit smaller in a really random place. Uh, the highlight of the year's games is da, 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 overall the victor. Nice. So it didn't really say anything about my character. I guess he, I assume he comes back. I assume you're allied with them, Dardania. I think I know where you are in the world. Yeah, Dardania. Oh, they're there. Yeah, Dardania. That makes sense. Um. No, I think I'm going to go for the Greeks down here because I have all my armies ready and ready to go. It wasn't you I was going for. How was I going to get go to war with you? Was it Kokaira, wasn't it? Yeah. Or Epidurus. And we can bring in Sparta, Aetolia. Ooh, that's how I bring in Aetolia. Herea, Kaidona. Why is Kaidona then in the world? 
a Kaidona down here, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know if they'll actually... <gasps> Antipater's dead. Excellent. So we have one less pretender. I will do a claim on... How do I clear one you? Oh, and Phrygia would join. A uh, Phrygia in another civil war? Or is this just what Phrygia now looks like? Yes, it does. It just looks funny. Um, slander is still. Oh. And he'd lose a lot of loyalty. Perhaps he can be won over. I will win him over. Um, I'm still going to do manpower. We really need to get manpower to last longer. Or omens, not manpower, to last longer. Omens to last longer. Um, I'm going to do Epidurus, I think. Epidurus can be converted. Converted. We can claim Epidurus, in fact. We will fight for them next. Foreigner arrives. He's arrived and he's part of th that... Family? Um, okay, Marshall is advancing. Excellent. We will keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We are doing fairly well, I'd say. We need to just let the manpower go up and we'll be perfectly good. Population growth. Let's do a bit of granaries. Training camps. There we go. Build some stuff. Spend that money. So yeah, guys, I hope you're all okay and uh, everything's going well. Um, I hope school, work, and whatever is treating you well. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Um, we've got a little bit of time left. It's just, just making sure you've uh, enjoyed it. If you have been, please uh, leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, hit the bell for more um, Imperator content. So you'll know as soon as it comes out. Um, we are going to do for this national seal mm. right to be heard could do that maybe actually I'll do national commercial fees bring in more money more money 10,000 manpower we're getting there we're sub and we've got a huge maximum manpower As, as Rome, I'm playing as my own private ca uh, game. I'm doing okay. I'm about this sort of area in northern Italy, and I've taken bits of Greece and the Illyrian coast, and I've got Sicily and most of these islands, Sardinia and Corsica. Um, I'm getting on for now, I think it's 700 men, like a month, replenishing manpower. And my maximum manpower is like 200,000. It's ridiculous. It's Rome is far too good in this game. Oh. The war is over. These people, the loyalists won, I think. Yeah, I think they won. Excellent. I mean, either way, I didn't really lose out. It doesn't really matter to me who wins. Who lives and who dies. That is tonight. I don't know, it's not really a line from Game of Thrones, but Game of Thrones is tonight. I am very, very excited. It's going to be an excellent... Um, an excellent episode. It's the Battle of Winterfell. So I expect quite a few people to die. Um, you, I've got a video on my channel that is of the Battles of Winterfell um, the Seven Kingdoms mod. I will leave a link to that in probably at the end, end uh, screen and I'll probably uh, yeah so you can check that out if you want guys. It's a really good battle. It's um, quite close yeah. It's I'll put it like that. I'll just leave it like that. That's all I'll say. So we'll um, build some heavy infantry now for this army because this is just made up of archers and um, cavalry currently and we don't want that. Because the game usually puts archers front, well, um, yeah, archers or light infantry front, cavalry on the sides and, um, okay, I'm going to go with, I could go with local unrest but I'm just going to send a representative to show me how the rules have followed. I think. Um, so yeah, so I've lost completely lost. Yeah, so um, what I was saying, um, yeah, basically, so it'll put light infantry and archers on the 
at the front, cavalry on the side, and then infantry behind. So obviously we would have had no second line, and that would have been terrible if this army came into combat. But it's now going to be 9,000 strong, so it's looking better. It's bigger now than Thrace's entire army, he says, while just checking. Though it looks like it is building up a respectable force, possibly. Eh. Five. Yeah, it's now, it's now getting similar sort of size to Thrace's army. Um... And we still have a disloyal member. You. You're not... Well, you're a pretender. You can die, and that's fine with me. I think you are, anyway. Yeah, you are a pretender. You're like my uncle, or something like that? I'm really not sure. And he is a preferred heir, anyway. And you're just really old. I'm not going to even bother, like, trying to help you. If you. You're just old people that just don't want me... My kid in charge. And my kid's got a thousand support. Everyone else is just nowhere near. I could smear the reputation of you if I wanted. I could end you. I also am tempted to change having my um, brother as the admiral. Because, I mean, six is good. But, like, it's not worth it for this loyalty problem that's going on. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to bring the army back down, ready for this war, but that will have to wait for another episode. I am sorry guys that we are at the end of this episode. I am making them a little bit shorter than um, the 45 minute episodes. If you would rather have them at 45 minutes, please let me know um, and we can go back to that. But yeah, for this one, it will just be like 30 odd minutes. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed guys, please like and subscribe. There will be more Imperator coming very, very soon. You may have wondered where the Wrath of Sparta campaign is going. Me and Scream have not been able to get around to doing it um, recently. We've both been in different places at different times and just away. So, um, but that is coming back soon. I think there is going to be a recording session very, very soon. So there will be more of that coming out probably next week. Um, so if you want to see more of that, again, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye for now.